Hi everyone, right, I'm not sure how long the camera's going to hold out So I'm just going to, uh, what I've done is I was looking at um, I Love Vintage Scraps now, she's been making bows I've got quite a few number, uh, quite a few number I've got quite a few videos on how to make different types of bows from ribbons and materials and that But I did like the way, um, I did like the bow she was making uh, And I've come up with a slightly quicker way to do them uh, and you know me, I'm all for one for saving time. Uh, so I've got this, which I've just done. Um, and you can add whatever you want. So I could add some more pearls and some little dangly bits and beads and uh, bits and pieces. But I've just done that one for now to show you. Um, and then I've got this frame as well. So if the camera holds out, you'll get both of these tutorials. Um, and this is... Um, Oh, recycling, okay, so I'll show you how to do that in a minute What was that? Oh, don't tell me that's Yes, that's alright, I need that So, what I'm going to do is show you the bow first um, And the way I've done it is I've just folded the piece of material in half It is up to you how, how wide I mean, if you want this, that's about 2 inches So you need to then cut at least 3 inch wide, okay uh, I just, for, just to get it all level-ish Fold it over as many times as you can and as many times as your scissors will allow you to cut. Trim it off. Not folded very nicely. Now oh, that one will do, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Um, let me just trim that a little bit. It's that bit that bothered me there. Okie dokie. I hope you can see this. So what you're going to do is turn your, uh, your material inside out. And you're going to run your glue halfway down both sides. And then very quickly fold your material over. Doesn't matter if it comes undone, you can go back and redo it. It's, it's fine. So when you've done that, turn your material. I mean, give it a chance to dry, of course. When you've done it, turn your material the right way. I mean, you might know different ways of doing bows. There are a lot of ways of doing bows, but I did like the bows that I saw um, her make. That's I Love Vintage Scraps. Okay. So. Just make sure you take off. See? So you've got that now. And then all you do is you turn the end back in like that so get that end in get it as straight as you can I usually do mine like that if I'm going to do them this way and I have done things this way before it's uh, not a new way actually it's not a new technique um, sorry I let go of mine it's too soon oh ow oh wait a minute hang on I'm going to do that again because that was, I let go of it. You don't let go of it, that's what I'm saying. Don't let go. <laughs> so just get rid of that. Now, we'll start again. Take the material and push the material inside. You do need to make it enough, but it depends on the size of the bow. Keep hold of it inside like that. Okay, so do it from the centre outwards. Um, glue one end. Keeping the centre pin pinned together is only so that you um, keep the ends straight. And you've got like a little cushion like that. You can fiddle about with them and pull the ends out and whatever you want to do with them. That's nothing. Okay. But then I take elastic band. Gather it up. Pop it on the elastic band. Get it in the middle-ish. And do two or three turns. like that it's just a lot easier than messing about with the ribbon and you don't waste your ribbon of course unless you want the ribbon to dangle and you get that crease and you do all of that um, you can actually get the ends like that and pull use your fingers to manipulate where you want the bow and that's a really nice bow uh, and then what you do is um, I'm just going to cut around the. I want the flower bit out Just going to cut this out um, 
that's the back pop a bit of glue on like that I'm just going to do one slightly different to that one so I'm just going to get a little bit of spray because you can do these however you want them to be okay uh, it's really nice to play around with and these look fabulous on any project but like I say look up on my website uh, bows and I show you how to make all different ones really easy simple bows but they look stunning they're all different um, cut a piece off now I don't want mine as long as that so I'm just gonna trim mine down like that I'm gonna trim that down as well and then what I do pop a bit of glue on like that lift that up pop that down in the crease and put that back so we'll do that again okay so I chopped it off there and there and there cut it long enough or short enough whichever you want to do turn the bow around Put that in there like that isn't that pretty really pretty and then what I'm going to do is um, use up the bits I've cut off when I can get rid of all the glue so leave the pearl on the very end and this is the bit you're going to glue and you, you do have to work pretty quick right and all I'm going to do is just pop them onto the centerpiece that I've done Okay, just pop them on, trim them down if you have to, just pop a bit of glue on there just to hold that bead, not on my finger mate, okay. do it like that they don't have to be perfect trim off the bit at the end uh, otherwise it doesn't look quite look right you should have them on there like that spin them round or wherever you want them that's better uh, and then what I'm going to do is add a little bit turn it over to the back cut a couple of strips of some nice fancy lace or whatever it is you want to put on them pop that glue on there do them like a V don't put them straight down do them like a V it gives them a little bit of um, better look to them and they don't both have to be the per perfect size same size if you know what I mean so pop that one on there when you pop that back round look and then what I've got I did have. Where have I put them? Hmm. Buttons. Let's have a look. See what buttons we've got. Oh, I had them. I don't know what I've done with them. They've gone astray. Too big. Yeah, I've got a little button with a pearl. So I'm just. When I can find my pliers. There we are. Chop off the back of the button because you do want to see the little bit of plate thing that you've put on behind. Whoops, caught that on my finger then. And then I don't, I mean, I want the bow. Well, the bow's that way actually, like that. And there you go, you got a really, really pretty bow, and it's a lot quicker to put together. So I just thought I'll show you those. Yes, you will have one edge that is glued in, but that doesn't matter because when it's on a project, you're not going to see it anyway. You know, on these corners, you just pull off. Okay, but uh, a lot better to make your own. They're very simple, very quick, very easy, and they save you a lot of money. Okay, that's that one. So I'm going to move on now. Um, to this one 
Now you know the arty cakes that you've all been buying or whatever, those that have, or anything like this that you find on packaging. It's just a little, you know, it covered something. So what you do is you take your picture, okay, you place that over the picture. I'm just using this as an example. You take your scissors and you cut your picture to size. I only do mine this way. You know me, I don't measure anything. Um, I don't often need to because I've got a good eye for size and whatever. Okay. I'm just roughly cutting this down to what. Now, you can glue the back on like that, onto the back like that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take hold of uh, my glossy accents. Yep, it's working. It doesn't often. Just put the glossy accents on. Pop that onto the back. And squash it out like that. Now I'm going to cut it down properly because I do want to use the groove. Just cut it like that. Okay. So I've got my picture in there. Now see the groove. What you need is get your pearls. You don't have to, you could run some uh, glitter around there, whatever you want to do. I've just got a, a little bit of pearl. Okay. Put a little bit of glue on the end. You can do this first, to be honest. In fact, I would. I would suggest you do this first. Pop that into there. Just leave it to set a minute. Help it along. Oops. Help it along. It's all gooey, okay? Um, and then what you do is you pop a little bit more glue in that corner. Take the pearls around. Yeah, do this first. Little glue in that corner. Like that. Push them in, make sure you get them straight. Little glue in that corner. Put the pearls on first, then do your picture. To... That's the easiest way I can tell the a newbie. Don't worry about getting any glue on there, because you're not going to see that. And it'll wipe off anyway. Okay, so we we'll bring the pearls back round to there. Let me just chop that off. Like that. Turn it over. There's your picture. You've got your little pearl in there. And then what you need to do is take some of the... Oh, let me get mine. I don't know what I've done with it. There we go. Oh, come here. There you go. Got some of this. I thought I had it ready actually. Um, whatever trim you're going to do, pop a bit of glue on. Pop your trim on. Run the glue down. Now with this, I can actually cut this off. I don't need to go around any corners at all when I pull that down. Okay. Just like that, put that on. And then I know I need two lots of three because I've done one already. So I'm just cutting that. There we go, like that. Set that like that, just trim them bits off. Picture stuck. And there you go. 
you've got a couple of frames that you can use on a project and that's recycled you've not wasted um, and it's hardly cost you anything at all okay so that's just another way to do a little I mean you could also um, put some flowers on or whatever you want to do but I just thought I'll show you that because I like to recycle all the plastics I can we don't need that in the ground uh, so that's that. I'll be back shortly. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.